Well, welcome back to Moama for the last game. We've uh, had a change of rinks here and uh, the game we advertised, we've had changed and we've got Aaron Sheriff and Alex Marshall playing Brodie Harker and Ben MacArthur. You had a rare opportunity here to see probably one of Australia's best players and obviously the GOAT himself, Alex Marshall. What he hasn't won is probably not worth winning. And Had he's leading. He is. He's played a pretty handy bowl here. Sit oh, struggle. what a bowl. That's a brilliant bowl. Very well played. They've had a bit of a tough week, Aaron and uh, Alex. Mm. Had a bit of a slow start. Currently sitting 32nd. Three wins, minus eight. You reckon they might need to win this game just to stay in the top 30 to come back, <laughs> do you think? Or? That is the rule, but I can't imagine you would... Uh You'd let, it, let this team slip and not show up next year. <laughs> no, it's all tongue-in-cheek, so it for is. certain uh, you, want, you want the best players in the world here, and I, I, I'm sure they'll be fine. And uh, Brody and Ben currently sitting 18th with uh, four wins plus 14. Another great bowl here. Two great shots from Alex. Good response from Brody, but, yeah, just another great shot from Alex. I'm guessing you're going to see a fair bit of weight through here. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume so. See, Ben's just uh, eyeing up that port to see if he can get hold of that jack. Having the back bowl on that side. So we'll try and keep you updated as best we can for some of the other rinks that are yep. going to shape the top ten. Mm -hmm. But uh, first up here, here comes the first, just a swinging weight here. He's going to sit the back bowl. Handy spot. And push his other one closer to the ditch. So he's got some pretty good position behind here. Yeah, Omar coming in here with a great bowl first shots. up. I think that'll be looking at about four shots here. Yeah, close to it. I think you might see a little bit more pace played here. Fraction more weight. In the area. A pretty good line here. Just needs a result off the front one. Ooh. Just got a bit too much of it, so... Big opportunity here for Aaron and Alex to get off to a flyer. Yeah. <coughs> Brody's front one might be able to cut out a few. It is pretty close. It will be either a number or not too many. Aaron just pulling up in the run. Had a great track there. Looking at second. Thank you. Measuring for second here. <coughs> Two. Two shots. Two zero after one end for those that are joining us. Just going to cut the head here. 
but he's a very good corrector, as we all know, so doesn't throw him like that too often. We're just going to fix up a little technical issue here. Yeah. The score is actually two zip after uh, one. one end. Um, a little gremlin got in here and given Brody and Benny a, a cheap shot. There we go. All fixed. <laughs> One of the local uh, larrikins, Mel Williams, just waltzing through, giving us a bit of advice <laughs> for the commentary. Taddy uh, with a fairly good correction here. Just needs to run a couple more. Very good effort. <coughs> Brody should still be holding one. Brody out on a nice line here. Probably just going to come in under Will. Alex, depending whether he's got the weight. Just going to just duck under. Snuck in with a... Oh, Very I'd say that's about to back flop for second as well. An answer to the question, did uh, Taddy and Aaron win their first game? They did. They got up 19-8. Uh, so 11 shots to go on there for their percentage. They're on a pretty good path here to promote Brodies. Well played. Makes it two. And as you see, Aaron taking plenty of time on the mat. Yep. Not. <laughs> He's very quick to... He's very quick. It must be an Aaron thing. We all know Disco is one of the most speediest guys you'll see on the mat. He's very close. He just ran into that Probably bowl. We just snuck him for second, though, but it is close. Brody still has signals, too. Ryan Best is another one. He uh, doesn't wait, no. waste too much time on the mat. No. <coughs> One of the quickest I've seen would be uh, Anthony Flapper. Yes, yep. He also walks down, quick. picks a bowl up, turns around, walks on a mat, bang, gone. Yep, it is pretty quick. At least he can't talk himself into the wrong shot. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's just going to duck the head here. Wasn't too far away with his weight. Pretty much the same as his first. Fairly long end here. Almost yeah. ditch to ditch. Just... Just battling a little bit, probably into a bit of a head breeze going mm. this way, so just fall, falling a little bit short. Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, getting a bit more information from Noreen Balot, watching from Agriga. Mm -hmm. Somewhere I've never heard of before. Brody seems to be in the area, just going to hang tight. The weight was probably really good for what he's wanting to do. <coughs> sort of blocking both paths. As we see Omar. Call for a bit of weight yeah. through, through his own bowls here, trying to get a result. Here we go. Very good track here. Got the split. Oh, got the second touch on it. And, and made one or two. Yeah. Great shot. Great shot. Absolute privilege to be able to sit here and... Uh, <laughs> and watch shots like that, I think. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to this game. And uh, already we're seeing some amazing shots from the top players. Red's close. Going to kill... Kill the first end. Yes, we're going to replay that end, are we? Is it re Oh no, must have stayed in. Great ball here from Brody Harker. Ah, Jack must have stayed in, so. Oh yeah, right on the band. Oh no, there's no marker there. I'm guessing right on the boundary peg. So Brody be holding a couple there. Yeah. Probably was strange not to kill with that angle, but there you go. 
What do you think of these new swirl aero bowls, So I've, I've always been very hesitant with, you know, duos. I currently play with a, an XG duo, but I've got the Peacock, which is purple and blue, so they're not too different. Um, so, well, definitely interesting, definitely something you'd have to get used to on the eye, but I do like the colour scheme. Yeah, I don't mind them colours myself, and I think Aaron might have just about drawn shot there. I think he might have. Which is uh, not bad going that way. We saw that in the last game... Jack go in the pit there and Matty mm. Flapper put a couple in drawn to it, so it's not obviously yep. easy there. Ben stays on, he'd be close for second. Yeah, I think these these new swirl bowls aren't as uh, flashy uh, as in give you that strobe effect. They yeah. Pretty good well played. Yeah, I think that'll be two. Definitely wider than his first. Which he needs to be. Coming on a really good track, but I think Just he's needs to settle. got a bit too much juice on it. Had a really good line for it too. Bad luck. So I'd say that's... Where the Five, zero after two ends, so a three. Yeah, wow. Thank you, Stewie. Stewie We've just been given well. the update of uh, the current positions, and I might get you, so. Yeah, I can do this. Go through there and give us a bit of an update. Beautiful. So, still undefeated, seven wins plus 45, Jeremy Henry and Aaron Tees. Second place being promoted from, where were they? Uh, they were in third. They were in, th they were in third. They've gone up to second. Greg Podesta and Brad Marin, uh, six wins plus 64. Maddie Flapper and Peter Lowe after the big win that we saw on the live stream. They're currently in third place, also 12 wins, plus 47. Ali Forsyth, Ryan Burnett, 11 wins, sorry, uh, 11 points, so five and a half, plus 35. Gary Lawson, Shannon McElroy, five wins, plus 45 in fifth place. <clears throat> and in sixth place, Ben Bowman and Nathan Black, five wins, plus 40. They Shot jumped. up into the... Uh Top 10? They did, yes. They were seventh, now jumping up to sixth. So very close abouts. Um, also got Cam Keen and Ryan Bester after their loss last game. Still in the top 10, sitting eighth with five wins plus 25. Corey Wedlock, Gary Kelly, five wins plus 25. Also five wins plus 25. Rounding out our top 10 is Neil Devlin and Michael Wilkes. Um, and there are a couple more. The next three are five game winners, two plus 22, plus 18, plus two. So... Still around about. It can be anyone's game in those couple. We've got in 11th place Joseph Clark and Ben Twist. And, um, yeah, a few five-game winners there, Robbo. Yeah, absolutely. When you go from 8th to, uh, what have we got, 13th, all within a 24 shots is uh, 28, 25, 25, 25, 22, 18. Yep. So shots for and against here is going to be very, yeah. very uh, eighth, important. Eighth, ninth and tenth are all dead even for the prize money. So definitely a, a ladder to watch for this game. And we've actually got the answer for where Agreger is. It's, uh, I believe, it's Scotland. Oh, okay. So, it does sound Scottish. Uh, yes, it's another uh, Scottish viewer this morning. As Omar, Omar plays player. a brilliant part. Um, as he does. Brady says, can draw either side, beating beating your own on the on the backhand or 
You've got about two foot to draw, foot and a half on the on the forehand, and Ben's chosen his forehand down the ditch side. Ben's out on a reasonable line here. Yeah, fairly decent. Just wants to hang. Just going to duck into the pack there. Yeah, the further you go on this rink, the more it uh, seems to turn yeah. on that hand. Uh, Matty Flapper, after the last game, said it didn't matter how much you took. It seemed to always come across. So mm -hmm. that can be a good thing, but at least you know it's coming back. See Taddy on a fairly reasonable line to promote his own here or just hang around. Yeah. He's going to get his in the guts and on to Omar's and makes a nice two. A bit harder to get to. Brody Harker, he comes from, uh, I think he plays up at Barham. He does, yes. And Coaches used to there. the carpet. Yes. And as you can see here, he's very, very close. very close, just running past. Even half of the jack was lovely. Yeah, so I expect to see some really good shots in this game. And already Omar and uh, Alex have shown their class. Mm -hmm. yeah, he might, get might find the gap here. I was going to say, could have got lucky there and come just underneath. but. Just made a correction and, as you can see, pulled in tight. It was a change of weight probably cost him a bit there? Yeah, I think so. There you go. I've been corrected. Maybe it's not Scotland. <laughs> Victoria between Warwick, Nabil and Donald. Oh. There you go. Was that far away from anywhere? It's probably like Scotland anyway. <laughs> no. Wouldn't have thought it'd be a big town. No, not between those two. The one thing I do like about the uh, feedback is we get straightened out pretty quick. <laughs> which we appreciate to make sure we're on the money just needs to hang past just didn't quite Taddy calling for the wide hand here Yeah, great ball here from Aaron Sheriff. Just Very good shot. Just probably didn't want to trail a jack, but still a better shot up there. And it's going to make the shot even harder now. Yeah. Unless there's something up the middle that they see. Yeah, I would have thought that might be the case. He's sort of just opened up. Yeah, there's path. a bit of a port there for a weighted shot. I think that's about all that's on, considering everything else is fairly blocked. A little bit unlucky there for Aaron, just exposing the jack. Ben not playing as much weight as I thought he might, but he's... Played it pretty well. He's played it very well, just needs to hang. He has got it. Got it. What Great a shot. shot. What a shot. shot. Benny MacArthur, down from Ballarat Way. Robbo, <coughs> plays for Webb Connor. Spent some time in Melbourne a couple of years ago, but uh, went back home. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, I actually got to play against him last year in... Uh, Bendigo, Cam, Paspy, Goldfields. Oh, yes. Provi uh, provincial. Um, yeah, and he was down there and played very well. Very good player. Went through the went through the juniors with a lot of the well-known players, such as, you know, Dill Fisher, and has his own uh, collection of accolades himself. And I love to support people from Ballarat. <laughs> Little bias down that way? A, a tiny bit. I just, there's not, there's not many of us. So I... I like to uh, support the success where I can. 
We'll try and get some information for you. Question is, what aero bowl is Omar using? Ooh. Is he using potential? Well, I would have thought it would be at least an Optima. If not, I think it's a space, is it? There's the next one out. I think, I believe, I'm not familiar with arrows, but I can get, if we see, she or Kev come past, I might get him to do a quick check. Great shots from Broads, one either side. Just leaving a little bit of room here, and as all good leaders will do, <laughs> don't change hands. Yep. Yeah, you know, that short bowl's not in the road if you take the right grass. And as you can see, correction. beautiful correction on the first bowl. Drawn for one. A lot of uh, your club bowlers would see that. And, oh, no, I can see the jack on the mm. other hand. I'll change over, which uh, you'll see the top players do very rarely. They'll uh, stick to the hand and bowl two on it. Got to trust yourself with it. And in, in Taddy's case, they were already shot. So no danger in, in hitting them anyway. <laughs> little bit of uh, banter coming through there. This uh, Alex Marshall fella, who's him leading? Is he on the way up or on the bowl circuit? Yeah, I don't know. Fairly new to the game, I'd say. Uh, obviously a very accomplished oh, singles player. As good so, as you know, you've got to be able to draw, but also at the back end as well. Yep. He's uh, won anything and everything you can win. And a, and a spectacular guy. Absolutely one of the nicest you'll meet. Am I just finishing Jack High there? <laughs> Benny will be looking to correct. He just ran into Brody's first one. And he's done it pretty well if he hangs around. Just wants to settle. I think he's done enough for a really good one. So yeah, great very good bowl, Lee. Couple of boys, tally boys, tuning in. Great to see. Mm. Uh, just let you know about the home home players that you you're probably watching. Dave Dawes and Mark Ryan won there. Did they win their first game? They're on seven points this morning. So in 24th position and uh, unlikely, a draw. Ah, draw. A draw. Yeah. Unlucky that they've probably put themselves in a position where they can't break into the top 10. But started the tournament very strong, won three on the first day and lost three on the second. Yeah. Happened to a few of them. Yep. That also could be that one day you're out in the grass all day and the next day you're in on the carpet or vice yep. versa. Absolutely. Because it is vastly different. Rhodes has played a pretty good shot here. Probably just wanted to sneak past his own. He had really good weight. Probably nearly blocked that hand up now. I think you'll find uh, Taddy out on the wide hand here. Yeah, I think so. Coming on a reasonable line here. This should nearly get down. He got down to the back one. Potentially second shot there. Yeah. Brody staying on the forehand. I think he'd just be looking to promote any of those for another shot. Giving yep. it a bit of a chase. Doesn't mind it. He's either just around or into one of his own. And I'm going to say he's going to up and over that bowl for another shot. Twice. Yeah. Good bowl. Very good bowl. Using, using the position that they had. Makes it a little bit easier. Taddy's out on a good line again. Yeah, no, I'm calling this to get back to the yellow. Yeah, I'd say so. And gets a piece. Just ran through, but and probably still two down. Great shot, though. Question about the weather, that it's uh, not as windy and a bit better today. Well, the breeze is up, just to let you know. And it's chilly. <laughs> 13 and a half degrees. Feels like 8.8, so. We've gone up 1.5. <laughs> yes. No, quite chilly here this morning. Vastly different from yesterday, where we... Had 25, 26 degrees. Yep. If 
been on a fairly decent track. Just wants to bend a little more. Going to split that little pack again of uh, Omar and Taddy's. Looks fairly well pointed. In a fairly good direction. Boy, he just wants to hurry. And that's all it's going to cost him here. Absolutely beautiful track. Yeah, I couldn't have played it much better. Still what the two, Brady says. I think he's saying just a draw. Just dead draw it. Shout out to Annie Miles. Ah, Harry. One of your uh, previous teammates in the yes. state side. And uh, a friend of ours. Yes. And what a shot from Ben. Won't want to touch the jack. Ah, that's Don't a very good ball. Don't think he did enough damage. Great shot. Probably made three. And Annie Miles herself has uh, come off a, a win in the over 60s national has. title. So big weight here. No change. So a number here for Brody and Ben. Three. After a slow start, they've um, fought their way back in well here and only one shot in it. <laughs> Words coming, breaking news here. Barry Lester had a drive and put the jack over the greenkeeper's shed and into the car park. <laughs> he obviously wasn't real happy when he let that one go because uh, I'm sure that must have had everything that he had on it. Wow. Mind you, that, that shed is... Fairly high. A couple, couple metres tall, at well, least. Yeah, it'd be at least three metres high and at least five or six metres from the green, so it's obviously ricocheted off a bowl and... Shot into the car park. Wow. Does happen here, but I've seen it go over the hedge and out on the road. Yep. <laughs> Great start from Bros. Just wanting probably an extra foot as we see Taddy just slide past the tee. Two nice lead balls there. Brody wanting this one to hurry a tad as well. Just going to fall an extra foot shorter, or half a foot. It's the one he really needed to try and at least get behind with, yeah. promote his own, get back to Taddy's first bowl. He won't be happy that he dropped it short, and neither will Taddy. Mm. Crowd's certainly starting to build here now, so yeah, it is. A few people rocking in. Coming down to the last game here, so if you're around in the Chukamoama and you've got a spare hour and a half to kill, come down here and see some of the best bowls you'll see in Australia. Probably the world. Yeah, there are some very classy players out on this green and the rest. I think the tournament's very aptly named Prestige Pairs. Absolutely. Benny MacArthur on a fairly decent line. Just wants to come home a little bit. His weight was outstanding. Yeah, he just got out a little bit wide on that hand. Aaron just following him down here. Taddy calling it for, for it to come. I think he'll get, get down here. It's just on his weight. He's just pulled up a yard short. Mm. I don't know whether we've made a mistake here, but uh, the sh scoreboard's actually showing uh, five all. We'll just get a an update on that to see whether that's correct or not. Yeah, OK. If that's so, the, the first score from N3 must have been a two and not a, th and not a one.
Yeah, good bowl from Aaron Sheriff there. Just come in, faced uh, Brody's bowl, and she'll be uh, up and down for shot there. So we'll just send out a, a runner to see if we can get that score correct. Brody coming in pretty well here. He just needs to clear that onto his own and made two shots. Teddy playing a bit of weight here. Lovely little port up through here. It's going to be tied onto the front bowl. Doesn't want Aaron's bowl. Right. No damage with the clipping on the front bowl. Sorry, Soph, I've That's left you. That's all right. I forgot I had to unmute myself. <laughs> Le left you muted. Like I said the other day, there'd be plenty of people out there who'd like to get hold of this mute button for me. <laughs> Just overheard a couple of ladies walking through with a, an elderly lady just mentioning the best in the world. So mm -hmm. obviously uh, in reference to Taddy and uh, Omar. Oh, uh, yeah. Taddy with weight again. He's a bit tight. Take both his out, but Omar stays. So three down, a couple less in the head. I think he's saying that he brought his arm across his body a little bit, but... Generally on the forehand, I know myself as a left-hander. Yeah. If I'm going to make a mistake, I usually pull it across. Yep. Common mistake common. on the forehand. Yep. Not normally associated with the goat. <laughs> <laughs> but he is human. Yes, he is. And apparently, I believe, he was a, a natural left-hander. Oh. And uh, changed over to right. Right, okay. And uh, I saw in the BPL there uh, one year, he, mm -hmm. I think the set was dead, and he drew a front-resting toucher to the <laughs> pit with his left hand of just to show that did. I still got it. <laughs> so he also is sort of ambidextrous. Oh, definitely. Ben on a pretty good track here. Any push on Brody's is a really good result, to be honest. Get another one behind. Here we go. We've got a bit of an update. Uh, Rod Lewis believes that when Benny had a drive, we only put one shot up and they actually got yeah, two. Yeah, so the case. They just we'll didn't indicate for us. So correct. So we changed that to two. Thank you very much for that. All the help we can get to be as accurate as we can, we'll take it on board. Yes. So no change with Omar's bowl. Wouldn't really want to fatten up the target. Ooh. Yep. But he's going to go. Teddy straight onto it. Get into it. And bang, here it comes. Something. Oh, oh he's wow. got the bare minimum hole. And I think that could be four shots. Wow. Hasn't yes it is. So hasn't this game taken a a quick turn from five love up to ten five down in the matter of four ends? Or three ends, effectively. With a pretty good start here. Probably just wants an extra foot out of it. Pretty yeah, good start. 
about on the ditch to ditch or almost ditch to ditch length. Oop, Teddy has a false start. I'm guessing someone's walked behind the uh, the rink. And you see with these top players that uh, they don't let anything bother them. They just reset no. and go again. Although maybe it has affected this bowl. Beautiful weight. Just for all those uh, bowlers out there, just be mindful when you're walking behind greens, uh, not to uh, walk past while someone's playing a shot. It's not hard to just stop for mm. five seconds and let them play. Broods, with what I call a two bowl plan, just using your first one slightly to help your second. In the area, whether he got it or missed, though. So. Correct. He's uh, definitely made a correction and uh, put in a fair bowl. Teddy's not on a bad line here, but just carrying a couple of feet, just missing the jack. But certainly in a great position for Aaron to draw up confidently with. Absolutely. Callum Hanna on board here, another Grovers. Plenty of support for the Grovers this morning. Mm. Uh, just let you know that Matty Flapper and Peter Lowe were on uh, six wins, plus 47, sitting in third spot currently. You'd have to agree with that uh, last comment, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, I would agree. Ross Cowan put out here, this is why bowls is a unique sport where your average day Joe can play the best players in the world and be competitive. I don't know how I'd go playing Tiger Woods, but <laughs> in the golf or Djokovic in the tennis, I think it'd be a bit of a mess. Muted myself out, so <laughs> <laughs> We're good at that. Probably a really good home there for Ben. Slipping one past, first one behind the jack. Splitting the pack of Omar and Taddy. Yeah, Brian Nisbet. Uh, yes, I believe Taddy is going to play for uh, Moama this year. Yes, he's coming um, back this weekend. I thought, I thought he was uh, back in this weekend, and a surprise loss on the the weekend. Although they were playing the reigning premier, mm. um, with the inclusions that they've had, I would have thought that they would have come out firing. But I'm sure with Taddy in, that'll uh, give him a bit of extra wind in the sails. Mm. with you. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Paul Hotchkiss asking if I've got a left or right hand swing. Well, probably surprise you. They're actually right handed at golf. There you go. But since the old uh, back has been uh, reduced to barely working, no more golf for me. We just saw Taddy with a uh, good idea for weight, but just missing the line. About three foot narrow, so he'll be wanting to make a correction with his last. Both teams starting to get the line and the pace of this rink now. As we've seen in previous games, uh, the start can be a bit uh, shaky. Yeah. But yeah, lovely bowl here. Great shot from Rhodes. Beautiful Covering touch. It up. Well played. Had to be just trying to come in under that front bowl of uh, Broads here. And just overcorrected and played it a tad high. The weight was nice though. It stays up, which it has. It's not in a bad home. Omar gives him a big tick for that. Oh. 
Sonia Keenan, mother of uh, Cam Keenan, just checking in. We'll uh, hopefully we can get an update for you, Sonia, of uh, how the boys going. They unfortunately dropped the small uh, this morning's game and has reduced them to eighth position. On five wins plus 25, there's still three ahead of them, so they can, well, they potentially could get themselves up a bit higher if they have a good win in this one. Now, we have a question here for you, so from for one me? of the listeners. Yes, Brad Griffiths asks, if you didn't play bowls, so oh, what would you be playing and why? Um, I, a lot of wolf. It's quite funny. A lot of people know this and a lot of people don't. I was a, a netballer for a long time. Um, went through a couple of the state academies and things like that and I was a shooter. But um, virtually I'm, I'm too short. Um, and uh, with, a, with, a, with a slight knee injury, my vertical jump isn't high enough to make up for my height. So um, I, we won the premiership last year in Ballarat and I thought that's a good time to finish. And um, I, uh, I stuck with bowls. So... Um, I also dappled in football, so probably netball or football, I'd say, Brad. That's a very interesting question. Thank you. Well, that's a very interesting answer. Football. Yeah, yeah my, um, um, one of my brothers is quite a good footballer, and my dad was a really good footballer. So, um, yeah, I reckon I grew up, well, growing up with two brothers, I sort of got bullied into, into learning how to kick it, so everyone gets really surprised when I can kick a football quite well. But... When you get forced to go outside with your brothers, you you tend to pick up the skill quite quickly, and and they don't hold back on no, you. No, they don't. They <laughs> they do not. They 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 do, they weren't shy of a tackle or anything. So, oh, um, good. Oh, little oh, fine touch there from Omar. Very fine touch. Maybe still two down. Possibly. Did reduce the count slightly with his last bowl. Might need the chocks. Also, one of your close friends. Dabbles in a bit of football, is that right? Yes, Kate. Kate, yes. Well, she's she's a retiree. <laughs> Rough. She played she played state football too. There you go. Um, and, and ended up choosing bowls as well. So, and obviously Beck Beck was a really good soccer player. Another one from New South Wales, and she she chose bowls in the end. And um, yeah, a lot of people I know have always just sort of ended up choosing bowls. So um, yeah, but there you go. A little bit of my sporting history. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess for yourself, you know with obviously the jackaroos and yeah. all that sort of ahead of you. Yep. Um, you probably need to keep yourself fit and uh, yeah. not injured. Yes, exactly. So I am well, I am actually a personal trainer. So when I quit netball, I decided to keep my fitness levels up in the gym. So you'll, you'll usually find me in the gym, either do my own thing or coaching others. So, yeah. I've just seen a comment from Leah MacArthur as well, um, who is Ben's mum. And... Uh, Cousins. Yeah, Brody. So Brody and uh, and Ben are cousins. There you go. I learn a lot, Sydney. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of a family affair happening on the green right now for those that are tuning in. And Found the right job, Sonny. Yes, the great Jeff Sutcliffe just walking past with three cans he's in. He's a bit serious, isn't it? <laughs> Former Australian representative and. Uh, We're just having a read of the scoreboard that uh, suggests that it's 12-5 to Brody and Ben's way, but uh, with that last bowl of Omar's, I don't see it being much more than two, so um, we'll just wait for confirmation on that, as I believe it was only two, um, and we'll, we'll add that to the scoreboard. So it's either 5-11 uh, or 5-12, or but I believe it'll be 5-11. Yes, I agree. And we've got a little question here from Ian Greenshields. Uh, Position of Nathan Black and Ben Bowman. Yeah, no, they got themselves up the pointy and they're in sixth position. Five wins plus 40. So they've got everything going for them here. Absolutely. They certainly can figure in the top five here if, if they have they, a good win. You know, yeah, if, uh, if um, Gary and Shannon have a... The New Zealand boys have a, have a loss, that certainly brings them up one place. And um, because they're 12 shots clear of seventh, that would definitely help. And obviously we've got Ali and uh, Ryan Burnett on... Uh, with that extra draw point that's keeping them up there uh, in fourth place on 11 points. So, you know, if they have a have a draw or a loss, it uh, could be Nathan up in 
uh, fourth or fifth place. Just have a little look through the draw. They they don't seem to have a real easy game in this one. Mm -mm. They have uh, Joseph Clark and Ben, and ben Twist, Twist, yes, who are sitting in eleventh position and fighting to try and get into the top ten. So they won't uh, they won't get it easy in this game. I wouldn't have thought. No, wouldn't have thought. Just having a look at the replay of that last head, and there can only be two, so I don't know whether it's uh, a mistake on the scoreboard. I think it might be. I'm going to be confident and put in two, so sure, score should be 5 11 after five. Playing the seventh end as we speak. Just saw Omar crash into Ben's front bowl, and uh, Ben just running into the ditch with that one trying to trail, so let's see what Omar can produce here. He's got on a very good track here, yes. promoting Taddy's bowl up in. Great shot. Has made it that little bit harder to play the nice weight to, to trail to those two of Brody's so I, I'd assume he'd be playing a, a jack through the yes, um, through to the pit. Just the way he's walking backwards here, eyeball on that port, with the two back bowls on the left of screen, I think you'll find this might come rattling up the middle. I think so, and you have got that one of Omar's to work with and you hang that little bit wide, you can clear one of Taddy's and have a have a fairly open head again. So, soon see. And his backhand broads. Just got a message through. 8-2 uh, after five ends for Brad Marin so, and Greg Podesta. So, they've got themselves off to a good start in trying to uh, potentially win this tournament if uh, Jezza and Aaron falter. Mm. We just saw uh, Broads hang wide with his first and Taddy's about to fall into the ditch too, trying to get